So Creative Assembly has uh, launched another patch and it seems that every time they fix something, something else breaks. In this case, uh, the new update for Shogun 2 Total War has uh, utterly deleted the mod manager from the, from the game. So in this video, what I'm going to show you is uh, how to enable it again, but keeping the uh, advantage that they are selling in here. They say that there is uh, an update for the game to better use modern architecture and improve, improve performance and uh, fix the game crashing for the, the 12th generation CPUs. Now, there's a, a very simple way that if you want to, if you come here to properties, right click on Total War Shogun 2, you go to properties and on betas, you can open this uh, menu. And if you go opt-in for this Linux pre-2022 update, the game will revert all the files to how they were before this patch. So you will have the game as you had it before. But if you want to take advantage of uh, this uh, increased performance, as they are saying, and uh, still want to use the mod manager, I'm going to show you in this video how to do it. So the same way you come to properties and you're going to go to local files and browse. And this way you get a view of the, um, of the files of uh, Shogun 2 Total War, right? Now they have added a ton of different files, Chrome, uh, CF process, etc., etc., etc. A ton of stuff that wasn't here before. And uh, what I've done, I already added, as you can see here, I already added the mod manager from a safe backup that I had before the uh, before the added, the update. So basically, is this that you have uh, here highlighted? Is the mod manager dot x QT, core, DLL, DLL, Shogun 2 DLL. Now, the Shogun 2.x, this is the executable, and the Steam API, you also have to add them. Now, there was here the Shogun 2.x. You can see that this uh, date is from 2022 because I already substituted, and this is 2022. The new ones, I have them on my, uh, on my desktop in here. You can see Shogun 2 cutaway files. I cut it away the shogun2.exe, this one that they just added, you can see the, the date in here, that is new, the retail.exe, I don't know what the what it is, and the Steam API, that is uh, with this new date. So you cut away those, and you replace with the new files. Now, the new files, you will find them in the video description, there's a link uh, to my page on ModDB that I created when uh, CA made the first patch in April for Napoleon, and some people asked me for the Empire also. I did up, uh, uh, upload it as well. And it seems that I fixed some uh, some mods. And this is for Napoleon, etc. I too lazy to make a, a different page for each uh, mod. So you will find them all here. So if you go to Shogun 2 files to add main folder mod manager, you can download them. It's very simple and it's very small. Uh, it's just the files that I just showed you. And here I uh, mentioned what you have to do. Cut away uh, and put away just in case. You need to, to use them. Don't delete them. Uh, the files, Shogun2.x, Shogun2 Retail, and Steam API. And the step two, you download from here. And what you're going to do is add those files to the game folder. So here we have them. The mod manager, the QT, QT, Shogun2 DLL, the executable, and the Steam API. Now with this, uh, supposedly we are having the the same advantages with the the improved performance. The the uh, chat still won't work. The chat they just took it away. So you have to use another app to to communicate if you're playing multiplayer. I play mostly single player, so uh, this for me is uh, working. Now if I press play. you will see that the mod manager is working. And here I can choose, like before, the Last Eye Alliance. There's the, a series that I'm recording now for the channel. I have the, the Ming Dynasty there. I have the Carlist Wars, uh, etc. So it's very easy. Otherwise, without the mod manager, there's a way to load the mods, but you have to go to the script uh, folder and write it on the 
uh, on the no with the notepad uh, is uh, this is much convenient so anyway uh, i hope this uh, helped you i still have to check now the new update for napoleon to see if it broke any of the stuff that uh, we fixed before <laughs> and if uh, this uh, helped you i hope uh, it did you can give me a please give me a like and share with uh, other players so we can all enjoy and keep playing and using the mod manager and uh, consider subscribing that helps a lot to grow the channel thank you very much for your time please take care be safe and i hope to see you soon with another video bye bye for now